We experienced near record warmth today with high temperatures warming into the mid to lower 40s. Same thing will happen coming up tomorrow. We'll be right back into the mid 40s with some sunshine for your Wednesday. Then our next storm system starts to move through impacting southeast Minnesota, northeast Iowa Thursday through Saturday, accumulating snowfall looks likely in our near future. Before we get to the snow, though, we'll deal with well, pretty mild conditions overnight tonight. Just some high level clouds and some sunshine for tomorrow, but lingering off to the west. Our next storm system, low pressure system will move across uh, the upper uh, central plains and eventually the upper Midwest will impact us here at home coming up Thursday, extending into Friday. So weather impacts we're looking at pretty much about a moderate to even close to a uh, high impact for at least travel wise in some isolated areas in southeast Minnesota, northeast Iowa. Wintry mix to start things off early Thursday morning. So we could have some very light icing on the roadways, then deal with a quick burst of snowfall through the late morning, early afternoon hours on Thursday, looking at four plus inches of snowfall possible Thursday through Friday. So it's kind of almost about a two round event with the wraparound of the low. We'll see that in future track in a second, but timing wise on Thursday, I think we deal with a little bit of a rain snow mix because temperatures will be hovering right around 34, 35 degrees by about six, seven o'clock in the morning on Thursday. We change over to that quick burst of snowfall and then just some light snow as some dry air comes in. The problem though behind the frontal boundary will deal with well the potential for some wind gusts upwards of about 20 to 25 miles per hour could lead to some blowing and drifting snow in some rural areas. So future track tonight notice pretty quiet tomorrow. We'll deal with some sunshine, maybe some high level clouds. Future track bringing in some moisture, just some cloud cover for tomorrow afternoon. Strong southerly winds watch off to the west. Then precipitation starts to move into Minnesota by about 2 AM early Thursday morning falling as rain because temperatures are well above freezing. But as the frontal boundary starts to move through, we deal with a chance for a rain snow mix from about 7 until 8 o'clock. Temperatures then will cool down to around 32 degrees by the afternoon. A real wet type of snow could potentially be on the way for Thursday. Dry air pulls in a little bit here, so I think during the afternoon and evening on Thursday, maybe just some light snow after about 3 o'clock in the afternoon with heavy snowfall bands off to the east of the Mississippi River. Then we get the wraparound effect behind the low coming up on Friday, and we'll deal with that kind of a consistent light snow throughout the day on Friday, which will still accumulate. So accumulations widespread notice across most of the eastern portion of Minnesota and then through Wisconsin. A good chance, at least a 50 to 70 percent chance at seeing at least four inches of snowfall on the ground. And I think we could have some pockets uh, of upwards of five to six inches of snow in some portions of southeast Minnesota. So to recap here, widespread snow likely Thursday and extending through Friday. Four plus inches of snowfall will be possible here, so we'll tweak the forecast as we move forward the next couple of days. And then Friday we deal with some light snow and some wind, so some visibility problems could potentially be on the way for Friday. Outside right now, 35 degrees in Rochester. Temperatures tonight only 26 for the overnight low. That's above our seasonal high temperatures for this time here. Tomorrow, 42 degrees for the high. We'll deal with that chance for some rain, some ice, and some snow early on Thursday morning. Seven day forecast chance for snow Thursday and Friday. Dry conditions as we move towards the weekend. Guys. Nick, thank you. Up next in